OG wanted noodles before he played. If it makes him play better, makes him feel better, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna put this on on the watch, aren't you? I'm gonna put the noodles through security now. It's very important. So entering this week, we knew it was gonna be an interesting week for us. Stage three has a, just a pretty tough schedule in general for us, but also throwing two matches against Chengdu in the mix makes it so that we have to prep against multiple styles. So Chengdu is known for not really going for the traditional like 3-3 three, three style, the standard, you know, GOATS kind of composition. They put a lot of priority on these DPS heavy counter GOATS compositions. Uh, there's a lot of maps where it's not good for every single point, so a lot of teams don't opt to do that. In fact, most teams don't opt to do that. And so that style means, you know, you have to prep and change things. I drop in mid. And the hard part about facing Chengdu is that because there's so few teams that play that style, um, you can't really get great practice against it. We did utilize our academy team to do a lot of scrims and, and internal scrim styles, but even then Chengdu's play style is very different from other teams that just run that composition. So having a week where we have to prep for one of the toughest 3-3 teams in the whole league and having to prep for you know this super unique style um, puts a lot of pressure and stress on the players and on the staff so uh, we knew coming into this week and even going into the next week um, that it's going to be a pretty tough set of days for us uh, you know we really tried to get as much of an even balance between practicing for Chengdu and practicing for Vancouver and we only had uh, two real days to practice for it. No, are you ready for tomorrow? Yeah, of course. I love Thursday matches after a Sunday match. Smile. It wasn't quite as ideal as I wanted it to be, um, just based off the teams we were facing. But you know, we, we take every practice as seriously as we can, and and really try to move forward. Well, see, the thing is, whenever we go against an opponent, we usually try and win. But tomorrow we've thrown it up, and uh, wait, no, we're doing the same thing again tomorrow, aren't we? Let me check my notes. Okay. <laughs> so entering a match day for Chengdu, we felt like we were, you know, prepared for this. We knew that as long as we kept our our swaps very simple, the compositions we were going to pick very simple and very straightforward, and really just focus on the play style, felt like that we would have a really good shot at this. Right, without any further ado, let's introduce our first team in this series. Let's hear it for the Dallas Fuel. Or has the Dead Eye available? but not the time to use it. Oh, oh he get behind the pillar! Whoa, his like arm was sticking out or something like that. Around the corner, that's gonna pave the way. Oh, he can! <laughs> oh, the flashbang! Oh, no! The Huge flashbang! That flashbang hit like three people. All right, this round is weird. Barrage EFP yeah. has been activated. I think they've got it now. There's a barrage coming in. Unko down, and the Hunters managed to hold on. Get the 2-0 on Ilios. That was a pretty... So the first map kind of got away from us. The fights didn't quite go our way, so um, we we tried to kind of pull it back together and, and, and not think too deep about it. We wanted to keep it super simple. Listen, deep breath. This is where we mental reset. All right, listen, we break the curse today. All right, so we're gonna go into Paris and we're gonna do exactly what we talked about, okay? Don't yep. think about it, don't worry about it, don't stress about it. The only thing that matters is what's next. And Cam killed the Veltal. There goes Keo as well. So Dallas using the response, and there goes Yang Zhao Long as well. AKM Ooh. hitting some pretty sick headshots for a good EMP as he sneaks behind the Dallas kill line, looking for the kill. On the Zen oh, oh, and shield bash from Zachary. They found him. They found him, and that is Dallas crushing the opportunity for Yang Zhao Long. He decided to try to EMP. I think that one uh, actually might have been canceled. canceled. Yeah, it was canceled. Really that well is done. Huge. That was a situation that Jungkook should have had. Nice, nice, nice cancel. No, but we never got nice cancel, bro. Nice, Nudal. Nice. See, I told you the only thing you have to do is cancel EMP. That's not too hard, is it? Health already gets a hack off to note. No kills out of that one though. Yang Zhao Long going down. He had like no help. No one is healing. A big bio grenade on the hunters as well. Four people and. That's gonna be about it. And this you can't come back from this if you're the Hunters. And this is probably what the San Francisco Shock should have done earlier today. And so coming into halftime, you know, we felt like 
we still had control of the series. We felt like going into three and four, the comps we expected them to play, we'd be able to beat them. Can they finish it? I think uh, Dallas might be in a bit of trouble here. The second tick taken, and Uncle with another big pick, this time with the Zen on Surge as well. There's a big shatter to follow up that grab, and that is going to be the end of the attack as the Hunters push it across the finish line. It seems like this is where it's going to end as Note gets DMAC. Dragon Strike comes through. You can't really touch the payload that way. And the Chengdu Hunters will take the lead that in was this a, series. A boop onto hey, that looked like it was a very well lined up Dragon Strike before that happened. Oh, oh there we go. That's pretty fast there. That's how you handle a Widowmaker. Only a few members of Dallas yet to even put that on. I don't think OG even got the shield from it. He's not going to last. Celebration Transcendence comes in from Keo. Jazz hands all over the place. And now that is it. The Chengdu Hunters will defeat the Dallas Fuel. Overall, the team, the staff, everyone was kind of frustrated that we lost that. I think that that was definitely a match that we should have won. It was a very important match for us to win for our stage playoff hopes. Felt like, you know, it wasn't just that like we got outplayed. It felt like we kind of lost control of of our structure on stage. So losing in that matter, I think, was was really frustrating. So coming off that Chengdu match, you know, we had a day of practice to kind of make sure we were ready for Vancouver. And in talking about it, we had decided that we wanted to play a couple different styles. And in our discussions, we kind of felt like there's some extra things we could do, some different things, some different compositions that we could throw at them. We wanted to try, but we'd only have that one day to prep, to actually practice it and prep it. So entering match day, we, you know, we felt pretty comfortable with, with the matchup. I mean, we know that Vancouver's, you know, one of the best teams in the league and, and we had faced them twice already. And we had yet to win a map against them. We were optimistic about it, but we didn't want to get our hopes up too much. We wanted to just kind of stay focused on the match and, and just try to do our best. We wanted to make sure that you know, we were giving everything we had for every second. No shutting down today. Remember what we talked about yesterday. We fight for every second of that match. Okay, every inch of space, every ult, every combo, we fight for it and we don't stop. Understood? All right, because we're gonna go out there, we're gonna give it all we have. So when we go out there, we focus on ourselves and we execute our plans and we're gonna, we're gonna do just fine, okay? Right. Fight on three. One, two, three, fight! Oh, well. So gets the kill and a big shatter coming in from Bumper to seal the deal, 96%. Looks like this one's gonna be 100 to zero. Nobody able to reach the point, and that's a quick 2-0 for the Vancouver Titans here on Helios. With a kill on the note, they're still so close to taking the point, 89% right now, and the kill's finally rolling in for the Titans as they finish it off. That is a great time for Vancouver on Assault here. Oh, that nano boost was just a little bit too late to see Bumper, and now I think, like you're saying, Doha, this will be the fuels. Chance to take this point. Janu's gonna get yep. bumped back. <laughs> Bumper uh, stepping off the edge of the map there, but that's okay. His team's gonna finish it up for him. There we go. Map win. <laughs> and another we definitely didn't, you know, play the way we we wanted to, the way we had talked about. Um, they had definitely gotten the better of us um, for the first half of that series, and and so coming into halftime, you know, we we talked about it all and felt like. You know, we, we really needed to change up our style and, and how we do some of these things. We adapted pretty well going into map three and four. I think both of those maps were very, very winnable maps for us. All right, we got this. Stay confident. Trust each other. Trust, trust, trust. Yes, sir. Matters. Sound barriers for both teams right now. The grab comes in onto Dallas. OG losing a lot of health and whoa! insta gibbed by the Vancouver Titans. What the payload gonna, is moving. Yeah, what are you going to do? For rear, Summon Sue has, was fully charged on the high ground, and they just waltz forward and let him destroy them. Sage advice for all parts of life. Vancouver Titans, too. <laughs> yeah, and they have the grab, and there's no defense, so oh, he's going to yep. go use it. That's right, why not? Right as they come around the corner, Twilight dead immediately. And Vancouver with a really uh, clean, or I should say Dallas, with a really clean win. At the end of B, that's a dodge by the Lucio up on the wall, but you can't dodge that grab. And somehow, some way, off the triple kill, you know, the 4K from Soma Su, they hold on. And they are going to win this map. That is such crazy. A heads up play from Twilight. We, we definitely showed a way better 
uh, version of ourselves in the second half and the first half. Um, in, in map three, Twilight was able to make a really clutch play uh, that prevented us from closing out the map. Overall, we weren't, we weren't too crushed by the series. Uh, maps three and four were definitely an in, in, in improvement from the, the last time we played them. Um, so it's something that we can kind of build off of and work off of. It's a positive that we can look at. I think celebrating the small victories is a very important thing. It's a, it's a positive influence in, in all the building blocks you're kind of trying to piece together. So we're definitely at a point where we kind of feel like our, our weaknesses have, have been exposed over the past two weeks. And, and there's uh, maybe some changes or, or just some, some different things that we kind of want to go for to try and to try and fix our style. Our goal here is season playoffs, you know. Every single stage playoff isn't necessarily the goal, it's, it's you know, the end of the season that's what really matters. And so the second half of stage three being particularly tough for us and stage four also not being, you know, a, a super easy stage, we want to make sure that we can uh, deal with the things that we aren't really doing that well as quickly as possible. The Chengdu and Vancouver match not going our way was is pretty frustrating. I think everyone is at that point where, you know, where we just want to be the best. And so if we don't play our best, um, you know, it feels like maybe we let ourselves down a little bit. But I know that our team is full of players that have incredible heart and incredible drive to, to get better and to improve. And so even when things are grim or even when we have a rough week, we always can bounce back. We did it in stage two, we can do it again now. It's something that I, I really believe in my players and my staff that we can do this.